Hey everyone, I'm Killajake99, and welcome back to Dishonored 2. I'm not exactly sure. I'm trying to listen to what Jindosh is saying, uh, so that's why I'm quiet sometimes. Hello? Are you gonna move? What the fuck? Oh, okay, yeah, it is possible. It just takes a little bit longer than usual. Hmm. Violent. Okay. Also kinky. Alright, I need to go to the assessment chamber. Former Empress on the run, there is no longer any doubt that the recently unseated Empress Emily Caldwin is responsible for the recent string of horrible murders. The former monarch is on the run, confirming our suspicions about her guilt and association with the crown killer. Indeed, some have even suggested that Emily herself committed the appalling crimes, as it is well known she was raised by conspirators and murderers. The Grand Sir Conan Guard has promised rewards for any information leading to an arrest and warns the fugitive will be shot on sight if spotted. Duke Luca Bell... Uh, recently stated that the former empress will likely receive a fair trial if she turns herself in peacefully and forthwith. Well, that's not going to happen. I can tell you that much. Nothing of use. Actual guards? Fuck. Hmm. What? Fuck. The window. Maybe it's open or something. What? No one opened a window. Huh? Shit. Okay, I thought I fucked myself. Instructions to staff. To my privileged staff, today Mr. Hodros and Mrs. Vivian with visiting to purchase a pair of clockwork soldiers, my instructions are as follows. The arc pylon should be stowed beneath the floor. Let's not vaporize our guests. Bring it back up only in the event of a disturbance. Lay out refreshments and prepare dinner after for after the contracts have been signed. If they grow restless and demand to see me, tell them that I will be with them shortly and escort them to the waiting room. Do not activate the mechanism that lowers the waiting room into the assessment chamber. I will do that once I arrive. Kieran Jindosh. To all clockwork soldier basics, to all personnel, I believe I've already read that. Alright. So I just need to knock the head off. That's gonna be fun. Well, easy mode. Um, fuck. This could screw me over. Yeah. Damn it. Assuming he's just attacking everything, right? Yep. Someone there. Oh shit. What the stop? Well, I have no idea what just happened. Damn. Savage. 
Holy shit. How are they all unconscious? And why aren't they all dead? Whoa. I have no idea what's going on here. Lovely, thank you. I really don't care. Sokolov Technology in the New Age, excerpt from a recent book detailing Sokolov's machines. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technology is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease, and the process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems, as well as the carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's design is the volatility of the oil itself. Few incidents have occurred, resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks is exploded. Damn. Uh. Oh, hey, a window. Oh, the space behind the walls. Interesting. Potentially useful. Potentially. Actually, I don't. Oh, there's a. There's a bone charm. Wait, what? There's a thing over here. I already read that. There's a rune. To the rune. Oh, it's all the way the fuck over there. Yeah, no. That's not happening. I don't even, like... What the shit? How do I... Everything. No, I haven't been up here. What is over here? I mean, that'll be useful at some point. I'm <laughs> just kind of looking around at this point. Trying to find anything of use. Which there is quite a bit. Not a, you know, overly significant amount of useful items, but probably enough. Um, I guess I'll go through here and see what, what there is to explore. Yeah, I don't even... There's a pool thing, and... I wonder. This probably won't kill me. I don't know what all the levers do, and I really don't want to screw with them. I really don't want to screw with... All of the levers. <sighs> God damn it. Holy food. Yeah, you best believe I'm eating all this shit. Alright, let's figure out. Let me just look around real quick. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know. Ooh, I got a thing. Letter to Amando Foundry. Please type and send this letter to Nora Amando F Amado Foundry. Sorry. Madame, your idiot foreman just queried me thusly. Will any size do? Any size, he says. No, no, no. The components must be precisely the size specified on my plans. I need assurances that there is someone at your facility who understands this, who will see it to it personally, that all the parts I've requested will be perfectly uniform, exactly sized, and composed of the requested materials. I will not pay a single coin until I have confirmation my requirements will be met. These parts are not just paperweights for my desk. They must fit within 
They must fit together within a larger machine after they leave your doors. I wait your reply, Kieran Jindosh. Yeah, it sounds like a douche. Jesus. Impatient cunts. At this point, it's kind of like, just shut the fuck up. That's gonna be it for this episode, everyone. So like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.